camper, period. He absolutely loves us, period. He barked at first, period. But there is no barking, just a lot of love. Okay. Hello, hello. I hope you thought that last clip was hilarious because I think it's hilarious. We were um, checking in on uh, our cousin, my, my mom's cousin's dogs. So my cousins do, but my mom's cousin's dogs. Um, and uh, my mom, the entire time we were like outside playing with them, my mom was voice texting to her cousin. And I just thought it was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> um so that's the beginning of the vlog um i'm reading the marrow thieves currently i'm i think i'm like 52 percent um and uh yeah 52 percent in really liking it it's another one that i'm like how did i not read this sooner like Ugh. but it, it's so good it is so good i just i strongly recommend it um it is incredible basically what it is about is um people have lost the ability to dream except for indigenous people um and so the uh people of canada have decided to reinstate residential schools so that they can harvest the bone marrow of indigenous people because they have somehow or think that they have figured out that that will give them back dreams. Um, so we're mainly from the perspective of a boy who is 16 years old now. Um, all of his family has been taken to these schools and he is now living in the forest with a group of people, so a found family, uh, as they hide from the recruiters and um, just stay alive there's um there's an adult male and then there's a elder um a grandmother type woman who barely talks um but will tell stories to the other girls and share their language with uh with all of them so teaching them the language um and then there are there are a couple more teenagers and then um some like littler kids that i think are like seven and nine maybe um and they are just making their way through this forest, trying to go unnoticed. Um, however, where we are now, which I guess is maybe a little spoilery, people may be following them. Um, or they may be following people. So things are going down. Um, but it's very, very good. Again, strongly recommended. Uh, on another note, it snowed again here. Um, not a whole lot of snow. I would, I mean, it's sticking around. It seems more like a dusting, like you couldn't make a snowman out of this snow. Um, but it's very cold. <laughs> so I'm about to start up the computer right now because I have a stream in a little bit. I'm going to be streaming Spirit Fair. If you've never seen Spirit Fair, played Spirit Fair, do yourself a favor and play or watch it or watch me on Twitch. <laughs> play Spirit Fair. It's such a good game. Uh, you are this Spirit Fair. You have this boat and you are taking these spirits around to do like, basically it feels like unfinished business type of thing. Like they have these errands or they have these things that they need to figure out about themselves. And you as Stella, uh, who's a black main character, let's go. Uh, you as Stella take them around on the ship um, to help them achieve these things. Uh, and it's great, and it's heartbreaking, it's sassy, it's, it's, it's hilarious, it's sad. <laughs> the first time I played it was when I was first streaming on Twitch, and I got to the end, and I was bawling my eyes out and quickly ended stream. So, oh. <laughs> but it's, it's really, really good. So I'm going to be streaming that, and if this video goes out, it's currently the 23rd. Hopefully this video goes out the 25th because I'd like to have some like other footage in here. Um, there's a sale currently going on at Emmy's Hair Care. Uh, on my Etsy, everything is 20% off. So all three oils, 20% off, tea rinses, 20% off, uh, uh, affirmation packs, 20% off. The only thing that isn't is the wash day fuel mug. Um, but yeah, so 
take advantage of that sale. It'll be running until the 30th of November. So happy shopping, happy holiday shopping, happy holidays. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I went shopping to multiple stores, didn't vlog literally any of it. Um, so I'll just show you the things that I got. <laughs> um, one is this really yummy lentil salad. Um, it's almost gone though, so that's not very riveting. Um, I was wandering around Marshall's and wanted a, a, a candle because I like, uh, I like wood wick candles in the winter when I'm sitting and reading and being all cozy because it feels like a fireplace is on. So I got this cedar, sorry, cigar lounge coconut blend wax candle and it's wood wick and it smells really good. I don't know how to describe the scent other than it's it's nice. Then I got some of the holiday scent soaps from Bath and Body Works. I don't ever really shop at Bath and Body Works, but this scent, this winter soap is the best and I need it every year for the holidays. And they didn't they didn't have any, so I was wandering around, so I got winter citrus wreath. And then one girl was like, let me check in the hall. Maybe there's one in the hall. And I was like, you don't gotta be nice. Y'all don't have it, that's super fine. I'll look around, find something else. Um, found this and was like, this is the one we're going for. And then she came out and she was like, we did have one in the hall. So, <laughs> so that's what we got. <laughs> then I went to uh, the local, a grocery, locally owned grocery store that I like, because I like their flowers. And um, I got, oh, it's leaking. I got roses and, what are these? And daisies. So now we, and this one came with like a little apple little thing. I don't know what that's about, but it's cute. So that's been my day so far. I'm gonna clean the house, make it look all cozy, gonna light the candle, gonna sit and read, and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. <laughs> the marrow thieves and wow 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 um wow can't believe that i took this long to read it i strongly urge you to read the marrow thieves and what i'm going to do is i'm going to link you to kim's video um where she she has a dedicated review for the marrow thieves <clears throat> excuse me and um it's non-spoiler and I uh, just re-watched it. I had watched her video originally and that's how I was like, I need to read this book. Um, sorry, I would try to formulate like my words around this book, but like, oh my God, this book. Um, it was so, it was so heartbreaking and so chilling to read now being older and knowing, like having learned more about the treatment of indigenous people and even more of what has happened in history that isn't taught and um this book was just so incredibly well done like I think younger people need to read it and older people need to read it everybody needs to read it um not only did it discuss residential schools because in the book residential schools are being reopened and more of them are being built but it also talked about um, sexual assault against indigenous women. Um, it talked about loss of language it and, and loss of culture. It just, God, it just, it just had so much packed into this story that I just believe everyone should read it. I don't know how many times I'm going to say this in this video, but everyone should read it. Um, it's definitely one that I want to, I want to physically own because I would love to read and annotate it because there was so much that I was highlighting and I forgot to write them down or keep my highlights before then returning the ebook copy to the library. Um, so big oops on me because I don't have any quotes right now that I can like read to you. But this, this book was just, it was just so, it was just so incredible. Um, Gosh, when a book really hits me this hard, I kind of lose words. Like, I don't know what to say to you other than please go watch Kim's video, read the book. Maybe then I'll have words, but it just, 
I cried so hard at the end. I don't know if I've said that yet. Bawled my eyes out at the end. Was a mess. At the end of this book, it was just so, it was just so incredible. I'm very glad that I read it. I'm sad that it took me this long to read it, but at least now I have read it and I can shout from the rooftops that everyone should be reading The Marrow Thieves. It should be in schools. Schools should have to read this. You should read it. Who's ever watching? Um, yeah. I'm still processing my emotions, so I'm sorry. This is like a horrible review, but I guess it's just a it's just a vlog, so like no pressure. But mm. <laughs> at some point, I know I'll write a review, and maybe my words will be a lot better. Um, but uh, yeah, um, I am participating in Kim's sprints right now. Um, I'm going to read *The Night Watchman* by Louise Erdrich. Um, which I'm still in the very beginning of. I kept trying to do that challenge uh, that I think I said in my last vlog where I was going to read, going to attempt to read the entire book in seven days. Pfft. Haven't done that. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to sprint, going to try to gather my words, going to try to find out if there's a way that I can recover my highlights, even though I returned the book. Is that possible on Kindle? I don't know. We'll figure it out. And if I find the quotes that I want to read to you, great. I just can't remember them off the top of the dome. But um, yeah, and then I have a have an order right here that I got to send out. I have some footage of me packaging the order, so I'll be able to show you that. And um, yeah, go read that book. Okay. my big bin oops here's my big bin of affirmations that go into every order so let's go put the back here be a little mixy mixy Now I'm just writing my thank you card and then we'll get it all packaged up and then the reading sprints are about to start they start at 11 and it is almost basically 11 so oh look she live oh my gosh oh I can show you the screen but I don't have my headphones plugged in just that. sprinting time oh my gosh I'm so excited okay oh there's the thank you card that I'm about to fill out oh and there's my coffee and there's the stand that you're resting on <laughs> Well, that is it for the vlog. I finished The Marrow Thieves. I'll keep you updated on The Night Watchmen. Um, <laughs> wouldn't it be incredible if, like, for some reason, I just completely finished that book today? That would be amazing. Um, wish me luck. What are you reading? How's your Skoden been? I hope it's been fantastic. Leave a emoji in the comment. What emoji, though? Ooh, I have these cute little, like... Oops, I have these cute little like crystal mushrooms. Look at this. Look at, ah, oh, they're cute. Wait, 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 there's another one. Oh, so leave a mushroom emote in the comment section. <laughs> I hope you have a beautiful day and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye. You know. Okay, I'm gonna do a little twisty twisty. Oh. <laughs>